Hey, listen, man. As you guys know, I'm not going to watch Captain Marvel. I mean, the Marvels, Captain Marvel 2, whatever. You know, it's coming out in theaters uh, tomorrow. But I did a trailer reaction about, whatever, four or five months ago. And I just want to know, how on point am I when it comes to, like, reviewing this movie in the future? Because I did a video that was months old that I said is a future movie review and grade for the Marvels. For the first time, I said, I'm going to do a movie review based off this trailer. And when the movie comes out, I'm going to put this up so people can see how on point I was. Now, those of you guys who have had to sit through the theater and watch the Marvels and as frustrated as you may feel right now, have no fear. Jody Joe from five months ago is here. Check this shit out. The Marvels from the MCU Phase 5. Phase 5 is... She's mid. But let's see if the Marvels will be able to turn things around. This director is a female director with a female cast. Kathleen Kennedy says she's going to make everything female over at Disney. That includes Marvel. People don't think she has control over what happens at Marvel. But she controls all of Disney. Even Bob Iger listens to what Kathleen Kennedy says at this point. But that's neither here nor there. Kevin Feige's a man's man. And he's going to make sure that this movie is inclusive for everybody. This is not going to be a fake, woke, feminazi, agenda-filled movie. Make this about our heroes, please. Make this about our heroes. That I don't give a shit about. It just shows these girls having fun. This is a slumber party up in this motherfucker. I can't believe you spent 150 to 200 million dollars on a movie about a freaking superhero slumber party and none of them is saving. You don't show any heroics in this motherfucker. Oh, you're me. I'm you. You're me. Oh my goodness. We trade places. Oh my God. Wow. Bro, you could miss me with this garbage movie, bro. Skip, pass, miss. This looks like garbage, bro. Like, what is the MCU leak? Oh, my God. Guys, understand. <laughs> is she weak? What is this shit? What is this? Poor Samuel Jackson. You're involved in this trio of mediocrity. More colors, more quips, more laughs, more jokes. Nothing serious, no stakes, no villain. You didn't even see a villain in this shit. There might not even be a villain. The villain might be time itself in the multiverse. We got to figure out a way to not transfer every time we pop a Pop-Tart out of a toaster. Every time I pop a Pop-Tart out of a poster, I, I change places with Monica. I get this trailer an F, dog. Miss me with this boy. <laughs> you can miss me entirely. This Agenda-filled trash movie, bro, is going to be trash like Captain Marvel was trash. Captain Marvel was trash, and her sequel, The Marvels, is equally going to be trash. Just like I told you guys that Thor loving trash is going to be trash. And y'all know it's seen cool, Jody. I want to see it. Oh, that shit looks like, oh, no, no. Then y'all saw it. Oh, that shit was kind of bad. Man, it's the same old song with a lot of people who don't understand the MCU formula and where the MCU is right now. I think this is going to be worse than Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And that was another mediocre MCU movie, was it not? MCU does not look good right now, bro. This right... Hey, I'm going to keep it a thousand. I'm going to keep it a whole stack. I'm going to get called a DC fanboy for this shit. But my nigga, I'd rather watch Shazam Fury of the Gods than watch this shit. <laughs> bro, I already know and Sh Shazam Fury of the Gods is garbage, bro. That shit garbage. But at least there's like some superhero stuff in it. It's about the hero. Who gives a freak? Well, that shit is agenda-based too. But not like this one's going to be, bro. You can miss me entirely with that shit. Hey, somebody bootleg that shit. Send it to me, my nigga, so I can review it. Somebody put the cam, the X-Vid cam and shit on there, bro. Just send, me, send that shit to me, bro. Somebody hit me with the yar. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, somebody write me a letter with a description about how this movie was, and I'll just make my review based off of that. My review has no weight with this movie. They already know what's up with me in this movie. This shit garbage. I ain't finna freaking love this shit. This shit is just reminding me. This might even be worse than Captain Marvel. This might even be worse than Captain Marvel. Because even in Captain Marvel, she was kind of serious. This shit is a joke. <laughs> hey, bro. As a Marvel fan, I'm disappointed. This is beneath their, This is beneath them. But we already know Victoria Alonso, 
the, the MCUs, the forces female, women over men. We already, LGBTQ, MCU, we already know what's up, bro. We know what's up. And until it changes, we're going to see a whole lot of mediocrity like this. The MCU is looking really, really bad right now, bro. And coming off of Ant-Man and the Wasp, and then we see this shit. Like, you scheduled these back-to-back, motherfucker. You knew, you knew Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania was garbage, or maybe they didn't. And then you knew, you knew Captain Marvel. You said, let's put Captain Marvel after Ant-Man and the Wasp. That, that'll be good. That'll get him in high hopes. She, what the freak? Listen, I hope this movie bombs, tanks, and fails. And I ain't even like, you know, if you like this shit, bro, you're into the, you know, the agenda-based shit, you're PC and then a motherfucker, you're part of the society who's who, who lost touch with reality and shit, you just think, oh, yeah, it's that. And, and if you just, just like to see fun things, that's cool. I ain't even gonna knock you for it. I'm not gonna knock you for liking this. Don't come at me for not liking this shit. Especially when I have more precedents than you do. Because the first Captain Marvel was sauce. Oh, but then again, it did make over a billion dollars. That MCU formula is iconic. They could release trash with with very little effort and still make billions. Why would they change? What the freak? Y'all just supporting trash. Man, freak this motherfucking movie, bro. Brie Larson did look good in the costume. It was tighter, less baggy than that first one in the first Captain Marvel. Kamala Khan... I don't give a freak about Kamala Khan. I mean, who the actress is, she seems smart and, and funny and stuff. So she seems cool. I love me some Monica Rambeau. She looked good. But none of that shit matters to me, bro. Like, all of it, none of it, none of it has weight. They, let me, can I say it? I'll say it. I think Ike Perlmutter said this shit. When he said, he said, Black Widow can't lead her own movie. But Black Widow could. Scarlett Johansson could. None of these little three little women can. It's three of them in this movie, and they still ain't going to be able to carry this shit. And I'm pro-women. I'm a feminist. Oh, I just blew your mind, didn't I? Yeah. Because there's a feminist who believes in the equality, right? 50-50 sharing. And then there's the feminazis who think women over men. That's when you're toxic. I believe that women should have just as much, much advantage as men do when it comes to getting roles in movies and being in leading roles and all that. What I am not against, what I am not for, is the directors and the writers and the producers who make these movies, who have agendas, who want to put the women over the men and making the men look subservient, making the men look less than, making the men look stupid, making them retarded or slow-witted and shit. You know what they do in these movies, bro. Or evil. God dang. You know why they call it a cockpit? Fuck! I'll never forget that shit, bro. Like, this is gonna, there's going to be a lot of that in here, bro. This is going to be a... And I'm just talking. I could have been stopped at the end of this video, but I just really feel like wrecking this shit right now, bro. I don't like where the MCU is. I don't like where the MCU is going. I mean, Victoria Alonso has been fired. Yeah, but that was that's a great thing. But then we see what Kathleen Kennedy did with Star Wars, which lets me know that Bob Iger is a cuck, which lets me know Bob Iger has no power, which means, or Bob Iger is okay with this, which means if Bob Iger is okay with the wokeness and the fake wokeness and agenda, that means he's going to make a fighting be with the agenda shit. So, listen, nothing's going to change until it changes, guys. This is not a good look. The stock in the MCU is plummeting. DC rises. The Flash is coming, and I'll be at CinemaCon watching that hole, bro. It's time for the, t the, the tables to turn. MCU, I gave y'all chances. And what's weird is that when I was enjoying the MCU movies, the ones that I do enjoy in Phase 4, y'all don't like. Y'all got a problem with Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Y'all hate Eternals. What the freak? Eternals is my favorite MCU movie. The Cinema? And MCU don't go hand in hand. We get it. The MCU formula is catered to movies like this, bro. This, this, this shit here, bro. This shit here, bro. Oh, man. It's boom. Best is forever. What the? What the? No, she couldn't say heck, F, and cut it off. You going to curse? We're looking for Kamala Khan. Period. Okay, so our powers are entangled. I ain't even gonna lie to you. This shit like a Disney Plus show. This shit look like a Disney Plus show. What's crazy is that y'all Disney Plus characters do not have movie pre presence. Even though I like Monica, you don't have movie presence. This shit don't look movie quality. This shit look like an extended Disney Plus TV series 
Bro, you can miss me with this mediocre looking shit. This shit is trash. The MCU is trash. The agenda is trash, bro. And until y'all change that shit up, bro, y'all trash. Point blank period. You can miss me with this cap the Marvels. You took one Captain Marvel that we hated and you added two more of them bitches. We got the Marvels. We got a black, brown, and white. God dang, y'all made some Neapolitan ice cream up in this hole. No strawberry. What the freak? You just making this shit as colorful as you can. We have we got the black representation. We got the ah la 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 body 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 representation and we got the plain jane white karen representation bro you can miss me with this shit i'm good on a freaking uh black captain marvel i'm good on an indian captain marvel and i'm good on a white captain marvel bro you know what how about no captain marvel bro how about that Take that magic Disney 1923's pencil and start erasing some of this shit, bro. Take some of that Animaniacs, Animator Eraser, and just erase this shit, bro. Get this shit up. It's not too late to not release this shit. November, around the holidays and shit, you think people going to be wanting to shop for their Nintendo Switches and their freaking uh, Christmas presents and then watch this shit? This is going to take them out of the freaking holiday spirit. This is going to make them freaking do more evil shit. Man, I just watched that bad goddamn movie. I spent $25 on that goddamn ticket, bro. And I feel sorry for the families who are going to take their freaking four kids spending $150. Imagine, some families in, on this, in this country are going to spend $150 at, to take their family of six to watch this shit. And I ain't even mentioning the popcorn and the soda and the nachos. That could be a whole $200 bill by the time they leave that theater. Leaving that theater in faces with their faces Frowning and shit, bro. I think I'm going to go to the movie theater when this shit releases, watch the other movie that comes out that day, and then just sit and wait to see the people's faces as they leave the theater. Count the sad faces. I'm going to count. I'm going to sit. Just a whole lot of, bro, it's a whole lot of, just a whole lot of mad and shit. People looking retarded and shit because this movie then took away their brain cells and shit. Man, freak this movie. I'm basically trying to see how long I can rant about this hoe at this point. <laughs> Man, watch out. I don't care how big Monica Rambo's booty cheeks are, my nigga. That's not going to be enough to keep me in this theater, bro. I don't care how nice her lips look and how natural her hair comes off. I ain't had enough for me to watch this shit, bro. You can miss me with this shit. I'm about to actually get dumb. I'm about to be on my e-sheet by the time I walk out. I'm going to walk out, bro, bro, after watching this shit, bro. Brain cells will be lost. Ain't no amount of hot dog that can keep me in that seat for that long. I finish my hot dog in like two minutes. That shit be gone. I get my nacho cheese. I start to dip my hot dog in the nacho cheese. I, ah, two minutes, my hot dog is gone. In five minutes, my nachos is gone. And the popcorn can last about 30 minutes. So basically, we got about 37 minutes before I'm ready to leave out this shit, bro. Where I ain't got no more food. My freaking soda's gone. I'm going to read it. Break my be <laughs> Man, freak this movie, my nigga. Hey, I ain't even seen this shit yet. Let me give it a great F, my nigga. I give the Marvels an F. Like, comment, and subscribe to my video. Hope you guys like this movie review from the freaking, uh, from the past for the future. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm say, out. If you Peace. like the Marvels, then good for you. I don't want people to feel some type of way off seeing this video or seeing all these videos on YouTube where people are saying that the Marvels is bad. I, I don't, but we also have, you know, jobs to do. We also have, you know, to live by a certain code. At least people who 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 put telling the truth at the forefront, right? And it, I'm sorry that I didn't go watch the Marvels. I'm sorry to my paying members who have Jody's Quarter Coins next to their names. I'm sorry to all my patrons that I didn't, I, I couldn't review this film because my mental sanity was more important than the money this time that you guys pay for me to do this kind of stuff. You know, I, I'm grateful to all of you and I hope that you guys will forgive me for putting my mental sanity first and not choosing to give you guys that rant. Hopefully this one from six months ago will suffice. Thank you guys so very much for watching. The MCU is dead. DC rises by 2025. I said it.